Uh, if you're recording picture and sound, I want to introduce my colleagues. Step over here, step over here. This is Mark Berman. Sir, sir, sir. Yeah. This is Jay Pallard. Yeah. Hi. Hi. NBC, ABC, CBS, <laughs> PBS, A, ABC, D, E, F, G. Yeah, right. Everybody. I couldn't keep a job. And he worked so, for RCA. CBS which is, and Warner Brothers, RCA, and all the others. And he worked for RCA, but it's called Rugs, Chickens, and Autos, right? Am I yeah. right? Yeah. And We're w kidding. And WLVI. We're going to look at a TR-70. Walk this way. Is this uh, got the airport? It does. And we're going to... Okay, sir. Oh, yeah, stand by. Put the compressors on. Now. Stand by. The head head wheel spinning up. Yeah. It's up to speed. Ready? Play. Marion Smith from Tacoma Swim Club and rounding out the field in lane eight. First Marianne phase is Grant off a little bit. Yeah. 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 The starting eight girls are instructed to start of the race. Like the Four lengths to pull back. Yeah. And they're Small off to a good button. start. Yeah. In lane four, Shel Gibson really got out there at the start. She's the fastest qualifier from Edmonton. Canada. Lane four, she's really moving That's out very ahead. Good. Looking very strong there. You see our Olympic champion, three gold medals in Olympic Games in Munich, Melissa Below. Also our American record holder, Melissa Below. So it's a very strong, even race, and she finishes very strongly. She leaves her legs for the end of her race. And she's ready to win this one. She wants to win. She has one. Another striker. I was looking for our big flat. Step close. There's a 10 watt monitor ramp. These little signals are generated as tachometer pulses, are they not? Yeah. yeah. Explain that to us. Well, this indicates that the head wheel is locked and uh, to the capstan. And we stop it for a second. Yeah. Yeah, it, there's no... Uh, and the, the tack is out. Right. So if we hit standby... Yeah. Yeah. And it should lock up. It. And go. This machine was in a television station in Connecticut. It was a workhorse machine for many years. Went to a uh, uh, dub facility in Queens, New York, I believe. Yeah. And uh, we got it on auction. And uh, with very little effort, it came up. Use the five second reroll. Oh, yeah, but it does it uh, sooner than that. Let's see. Let's see. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Three seconds. Yeah, five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The TR600, which we'll see next, will do it in less than a second. Yeah. yeah. This TR60, which is a contemporary of the 70, recently was turned on after a 10 year uh, dormancy, the sleep of Rip Van Winkle, and it had a fire, and it had some other issues that weren't good. But it's being worked on. Yeah, he said a board, a board caught fire. Yeah, well. A little smoke and flame. You should have been in my uh, shop the other night, and I, I could have shown you a conflagration on the camera. Oh, power supply issues. But uh, this is the problem with this old equipment. The electrolytic capacitors have been dormant for many years. And uh, uh, they develop, uh, they turn into resistors, basically. Now let's come over this way. TCR. Now, as we explained before, the TCR, I'm sorry, the TR600 was much preferred because it is B-wind, where the back side of the tape is what's hitting the tension guides. So if I hit the threading knob here, or the thread knob, it gets up instantly, head wheel is up, and three, two, one. Frankie was the number one Eastern IM for this year. We're top. Look at the color monitor over there. This monitor seems to be Lane four. Absolutely. You can see her there, right in the middle of your screen. She's looking very strong. That's pretty good. But this thing works up real fast. One, two, three. She's under the world record pace. She's 29.78. The world record was 30.2. So we're going to have a world record here. It's going to take the world to win. Kathy Hetty in lane five is second. Shirley Babishoff and Angela Frankie in. But, but wait, there's more. Wait, I'm paused. Now we're coming over. Huh? Um, keep going, keep going, keep going. The 
Right back after this commercial. Please stand by. <laughs> Boy, I Please stand by. Technical. engineering a picture showing the machine being decommissioned. God knows they got their money's worth out of that. Now in fairness, this is not an original VR1000. No. No. Right. You can tell. This has got 1,200 electronics. Uh, playback, record electronics. Completely. But the fact that it works at all is a third class mirror. Yeah. Yeah, this thing needs a lot of work. Still. Look at the error. The yeah. error is a When this thing had been first brought here, it had spent a number of years in a chicken coop and was the home to one of the largest black snakes I have ever seen. Um, and when this had to be removed from the chicken coop, the moving company at first went in, saw the, the condition things were in, and said, no, nah, we're not going to touch this. So they had to put plywood sheets down to roll it out of where it was and get it to a place where they could put it into a truck. There were actually two other chassis. We have two other uh, empty consoles. Uh, but the original Osgood, Indiana acquisition was for three of these consoles. But only one of them had been, they could tell by the rust that's there, the thing was not kept in a clean environment, but with a little bit of TLC and a little bit of love, it's working. Obviously. 